Okay, hold on. We just need one more floor. That's all we need. Ooh, what is this? Fire quartz. Sweet, I think. Oh, we've had that before. We've had the fire quartz. Yeah, because we finished off the, uh... Um... The, all of the stuff in the smeltery room. Okay, so what did we just get? We got ourselves an Omni Geode, which is nice. I think those are the ones that have the chance of getting rewards from any level, instead of just lower levels or higher ones and things like that. Let's kill this guy off before he does any damage. Shit, low on health. Okay, we just need one more floor, but we need to live long enough to see that floor. Is there anything I can eat? Yes, I can eat that. For 20 energy and 8 health. Fuck, that was not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna focus on killing the enemies first in hopes that one of them is hiding the way down. Such luck there. What about you? Way down? No way down. Fuck. Okay. I don't have any coal yet, so I still can't use that as a way down either. There's a bat on his way. Which I need to pay attention to or he's going to kill me. No way down out of him either. Down the last bit of my health, on all energy, only 42. We have to find the exit. I'm so close. Just one more floor and we'll hit 90. And there we go. That's it. Floor 90 with another chest. An obsidian edge. Nice. How much is it? Holy shit. Okay, so currently we have a sword, a heavy broadsword. 12 to 25 damage. The Obsidian Edge outdoes all of that with a base incredibly sharp damage of 30 to 45. Plus 10 critical chance and only minus 1 speed versus the minus 2. Hell yes, we're equipping that. That is amazing. Alright, let's drop down one more floor just to see what we can expect in the next set. Looks like more fire floors. Get ourselves a carrot, which is nice. Another carrot, okay. So yeah, it just seems like there's more fire floors. And it's probably going to be it to the very bottom of the mine. Alright, let's head on home, drop off all of the goods that we've collected, and revel in our glory over getting ourselves the obsidian edge. Holy shit. Something broke. Oh, well our oak resin's done. Okay, yeah, something did break one of my paths. Because of the fucking lightning. Okay, let's drop off what we don't need. Uh, we can actually let's sell stuff first and then drop off the rest. Actually, let me make an amend. Let me amend my previously amended statement. Let's set aside what we can give to Gunther or turn in for rewards. It looks like that might be it on the Gunther and reward stuff. I've already given Gunther a ruby, so that's all sales. It's midnight, so I need to hurry. Okay, ruby is sales. That I can sell. Quartz sells. That, 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 and solar essence I can sell. Carrot, why not? Seeds don't need... Oh, no, I need the seeds for next season. Slime, egg. I think I need to save the maple syrup, because I think I can use it to make another uh, honey thing. Uh, sell the Void Essence and the Batwing. I believe the rest is supplies. Let's also drop off the weapons that I can no longer use or no longer need to use. Okay, gold, copper, iron, stone, wood, and hardwood. Let's get all five of those. All but two of those. Okay, let's see. Let's 
get our tools back in their positions. That leaves us with a rare crow, some mixed seeds, maple syrup, and a grape, which I believe, like I said, yes, maple syrup can be used to make another bee house. 40 wood, 8 coal, and an iron bar. 40 wood we have. 8 coal. And an iron bar. The rare crow, I'm just going to set right here, because we don't need it. Let's make ourselves that. And then let's drop off the seeds. And we'll hold on to the grape for Marnie next time we see her. So let's set this down and then head to bed. It's been a very eventful day, guys. Hey, Sheik. How much money? Whew, grand out of mining, another 2,000. Three thousand nine hundred and twelve gold. Our uh, hot peppers have grown, so we can give those to uh, George, I believe, is who asked for them. Got ourselves some corn as well. Definitely profiting from yesterday. Two iron and a copper. Two more copper that we can donate, actually. Yeah, I think it was a good day. We've got a bunch of stone we can turn into paths as well. Robin's over there working away at our cow barn. Yeah, I'm definitely proud about yesterday. It worked out great. So let's finish laying down our paths here. While we wait on 9 o'clock to roll around and all the stores to open up. Ooh, two of our paths got destroyed over here. Oh, no, one did. I fucking hate the lightning. It always goes through and destroys like the most random shit and it's just it's bothersome you know I wish it didn't destroy paths but not really nothing I can do about that I'm sure the developer added it in for a reason even if just an annoying one okay so let's add in the path behind the cow barn which is going to be there uh hmm let's actually let's add it in over straight across to here Kind of make a little circle, because I haven't got this unlocked yet, but I plan on getting it eventually. Might as well incorporate it into our plans. Circle that around. There we go. Okay. Now, the plans for the fencing. I definitely want it to go down here. I'm thinking... <sighs> the question is, how far do I want it to go? I might thicken these by one, so I have a path in between the trees and the other ones. Yeah, yeah I'm, actually, I'm just going to do that. Now that I've set it, I'm going to do it. Because that'll also set a basis for where the end of the cow barns is. Because the plot of land would drop down to there, give it a pretty wide range. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but now I know how tall it is. So let's offset this all by one. do that again down here. Finish that off. There we go. Now we've got our setup in place and everything's starting to look pretty nice and organized. We'll have all kinds of trees with the maple syrup set up in here, the bees over to the side. Should probably get started on watering my crops, checking on my chickens, and checking on my bats. Alright, plants are watered, so let's see what the bats have given us. Nothing, of course. And then last but not least, the chickens, before we go give the hot pepper to George, the grape to Marnie. I don't think we have any use for the corn, because it's not a gold-starred corn. Come on, any large eggs yet? No, you guys probably need to be much happier to get large eggs. Oh, he finally reached one heart. Glad I got you guys back to there. I promise I won't forget to feed you this time. Oh, come on, come on, move. Let me, let me feed you. Actually, it's sunny out today, so I'm going to let you come back outside. There you go, guys. 
enjoy the bright and shining sun. Alright, uh, oh, we need to stop by here. Let's grab ourselves the geodes and the fire quartz. Let's go make a little bit of profit. Alright, Clint, you're up first. What can you give us out of the magma geode? Coal, okay, thanks. That was wonderful. There, now that seems something more like it. Something I'm assuming I haven't given Gunther yet. There we go, an ocean stone. And I haven't given the fire quartz either, so that's two new items for Gunther. There we go. I have 3,000 today. I'm still about 1,200 shy of being able to... Uh, buy myself the next sword upgrade. Let's just put in this book real quick. Highlights from the Book of Yoba. Before time, there was only the endless golden light. The light itself... The light called out to itself, Yoba. Yoba wanted more. Yoba swirled the golden light into a vortex. Yoba swirled and swirled until a hole formed in the eye of the vortex. From this hole sprung a seed. Yoba smoothed the golden light. Yoba smoothed and smoothed, and the light became soil. Into this so soil, Yoba planted the seed. The seed sprouted, and behold, a vine sprung skyward, twisting and probing, casting a writhing shadow onto the golden void. After eleven days, the vine bore fruit. Yoba, with knowing wisdom, peeled the tough skin off the fruit and saw that the world was inside. And so that is how the world came to be. That's very unusual. I've never heard anything like that before. Ooh, I can inspect this bear. What is that? It's ragged, but still cute. Okay, cool. Alright, Gunther, what can you give us for these two rather obscure items? Nothing. And nothing, of course. But we have finished off a third table. Our collection is coming along very nicely. We have finished off this entire table and both of these center ones, which leaves these two tables off to the side here, this tiny one in the bottom right corner, and unfortunately this very large table caught right in the center. But aside from that, I think we're making great progress. Alright, let's go find George Ooh, and another sweet pea, which I can give to Abigail at a later date. Where are you, George? Why am I... Oh, that's Lewis's home. George's home is up here. Yeah, here it is. Alright, George, you wanted a hot pepper. Yes, you did. Took you long enough. Hmm. Well, it's good and spicy, at least. Thanks. Love your appreciation, George. Knee therapy, 200 gold, putting us at four grand. Which, coincidentally, instead of saving up for an iron pickaxe upgrade or anything else, I think I'm going to use to buy more trees, maybe. Four grand for an apple sapling, but it's not going to grow until. Ooh, actually. Takes 20 days to produce a mature apple tree. Bears fruit in the fall, only grows at the eight. I'm going to get the fruit tree, the apple tree, and I'm going to plant it immediately. If I'm lucky, I will get one apple from it, but maybe more. If we are really lucky. So I'm going to try my hand with it. Let's see if we can get ourselves the apples that we need. And in the meantime, I might as well plant the apricot tree. Shit, I need to go back, because I want to make sure everything's lined up right, so I know exactly which trees that I have. And I'm kind of running this lineup based off of Pierre's list. So he's got them set in sets of two. So there's two spring trees, two summer trees, two fall trees. But he's got them next to each other, in that order too, spring, summer, fall. So I want to make sure that I plant them accordingly. Okay, so, for example... Down at the bottom, we have the bottom app the bottom fall seed is the apple seed, which means on the bottom row, I'm going to put the fall seed, and then on the bottom row, I'm going to put the, ap well, the apricot for the spring. Okay, so the apricot is the bottom is the second of the two spring seeds, and the apple is the second of the two fall seeds. And I think instead of going right to left like I motioned earlier, I'm going to left to right. So I'm going to put spring, summer fall if you're following the motions of the mouse on screen. Alright, here we go. Let's grab our apricot. No, I don't want to put it back in there. Plant that, and plant that. Okay, apricot seed. So these are both secondary seeds, so spring first with the apricot. Two spaces, that's where the summer seed's gonna go. Two spaces, and then fall seed. There we go. Now those should grow eventually into nice trees. 
preferably ones that I can get some good apple products out of by the end of the season. Let's donate the rest of those, and that, that, and those. It's only Saturday, so Abigail has not reset. We've got ourselves a couple more wood that we can drop off up here. Some coal as well. Uh, and last but not least, let's go hunt down Marnie and give her this grape before the end of the day. Hello, Marnie. Uh, your door is still locked to me, is it not? Yes, it is. Alright, so let's give you this grape, and please like grapes. Please like them. Right? Oh, never mind. I've already given her two gifts this week. There's nothing I can do about that. In that case, the grape shall be saved. Hmm. Well, not much I can do there. It does not leave a lot of options for things to do this week. What skills do I have? I still need to upgrade my fishing skill. You know, yep, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to fish right here on this little pond. No, actually, I'm going to go down to the forest, and let's go fish in the lake. See so if we can get anything good by the end of the day. All right. So, honestly, it was a pretty shit experience with the fishing. I got nothing more than green algae, discs, CDs, newspapers, trash, Joji Cola, and a single pike. So, nothing really worth talking about, but it's late. So let's head up, turn in our stuff, and go to sleep. Ooh, another honey is done, which I can now sell for some last second profits. Alright, I think that's everything. Time for bed. Damn, still not great our fishing again. Another 850. Alright, summer 28th, the last day, I believe. Dear Jack, tonight at around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight, Demetrius. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, where we shall watch the Moonlight Jellies, hopefully see the finishing of our cow barn, and by the looks of the date, we shall also see the introduction of the fall season, and something's grown up here. Oh, more of the coffee beans. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.